5.2. Domestication. In 2004, a grave was excavated in Cyprus that contained the skeletons, laid close to one another, of both a human and a cat. The grave is estimated to be 9,500 years old, pushing back the earliest known feline-human association significantly. Like some other domesticated animals, cats live in a mutualistic arrangement with humans. It is believed that the benefit of removing rats and mice from humans' food stores outweighed the trouble of extending the protection of human settlement to a formerly wild animal, almost certainly for humans who had adopted a farming economy. Unlike the dog, which also hunts and kills rodents, the cat does not eat grains, fruits, or vegetables. A cat that is good at hunting rodents is referred to as a mouser. The simile, like herding cats, refers to the seeming intractability of the ordinary house cat to training in anything, unlike dogs. Despite cohabitation in colonies, cats are lone hunters. It is no coincidence that cats are also clean animals. The chemistry of their saliva, expended during their frequent grooming, appears to be a natural deodorant. If so, the function of this cleanliness is to decrease the chance a prey animal will notice the cat's presence in time. In contrast, dog's odor is an advantage in hunting, for the dog is a pack hunter. Part of the pack stations itself upwind, and its odor drives prey toward the rest of the pack stationed downwind. This requires a cooperative effort, which in turn requires communication skills. No such communication skills are required of a lone hunter. This is part of the reason interacting with such an animal is problematic. Cats in particular are labeled as opaque or inscrutable, if not obtuse, as well as aloof and self-sufficient. However, cats can be very affectionate toward their human companions, especially if they imprint on them at a very young age and are treated with consistent affection. Human attitudes toward cats vary widely. Some people keep cats for companionship as pets. Others go to great lengths to pamper their cats, sometimes treating them as if they were children. When a cat bonds with its human guardian, the cat may, at times, display behavior similar to that of a human. Such behavior may include a trip to the litter box before bedtime or snuggling up close to its companion in bed or on the sofa. Other such behavior includes mimicking sounds of the owner or using certain sounds the cat picks up from the human, sounds representing specific needs of the cat, which the owner would recognize, such as a specific tone of meow along with eye contact that may represent, I'm hungry. The cat may also be capable of learning to communicate with the human using non-spoken language or body language, such as rubbing for affection, confirmation, facial expressions, and making eye contact with the owner if something needs to be addressed, e.g., finding a bug crawling on the floor for the owner to get rid of. Some owners like to train their cat to perform tricks, commonly exhibited by dogs, such as jumping, though this is rare. Allergies to cat dander are one of the most common reasons people cite for disliking cats. However, in some instances, humans find the rewards of cat companionship outweigh the discomfort and problems associated with these allergies. Many choose to cope with cat allergies by taking prescription allergy medicine and bathing their cats frequently, since weekly bathing will eliminate about 90% of the cat dander present in the environment. Recent studies have indicated that humans who are exposed to cats or dogs within the first year of their lives develop few animal allergies, while most adults who are allergic to animals did not have a cat or dog as a pet in childhood. Citation needed. In urban areas, some people find feral and free-roaming pet cats annoying and intrusive. Unaltered animals can engage in persistent nighttime calling, termed caterwauling, and defecation or marking of private property. Indoor confinement of pets and TNR, trap, neuter, return, programs for feral cats can help. Some people also use cat deterrence to discourage cats from entering their property. In rural areas, farms often have dozens of semi-feral cats. Hunting in the barns and the fields, they kill and eat rodents that would otherwise spoil large parts of the grain crop. Many pet cats successfully hunt and kill rabbits, 
rodents, birds, lizards, frogs, fish, and large insects by instinct, but might not eat their prey. They may even present their kills, dead or maimed, to their humans, perhaps expecting them to praise or reward them, or possibly even to complete the kill and eat the mouse. Others speculate that this behavior is part of the odd relationship between human and cat, in which the cat is sometimes a kitten, playing, being picked up and carried, and sometimes an adult, teaching these very large and peculiar kittens how to hunt by demonstrating what the point of it all is. An image captioned, Cat arching its back and hissing, is provided here. Despite its reputation as a solitary animal, the domestic cat is social enough to form colonies, but does not attack in groups as lions do. Some breeds like Bengal, Ossacat, and Manx are very social, but are exceptions. While each cat holds a distinct territory, sexually active males having the largest territories, and neutered cats having the smallest, there are neutral areas where cats watch and greet one another without territorial conflicts. Outside these neutral areas, territory holders usually aggressively chase away stranger cats, at first by staring, hissing, and growling, and if that does not work, by short but noisy and violent attacks. Fighting cats make themselves appear more impressive and threatening by raising their fur and arching their backs, thus increasing their visual size. Cats also behave this way while playing. Attacks usually comprise powerful slaps to the face and body with the forepaws as well as bites, but serious damage is rare. Usually the loser runs away with little more than a few scratches to the face and perhaps the ears. Normally, serious negative effects will be limited to possible infection of the scratches and bites, though these have been known to sometimes kill cats if untreated. In addition, such fighting is believed to be the primary route of transmission of feline immunodeficiency virus, FIV. Sexually active males will usually be in many fights during their lives and often have decidedly battered faces with obvious scars and cuts to the ears and nose. Not only males will fight, females will also fight over territory or to defend their kittens, and even neutered cats will defend their smaller territories aggressively. Domestic cats have been known to protect their territories, dwellings, even to the extent of attacking human intruders, citation needed, although less often and less reliably than dogs. 5.3 domesticated varieties. The list of cat breeds is quite large. Most cat registries recognize between 30 and 40 breeds of cats, and several more are in development, with one or more new breeds being recognized each year on average, having distinct features and heritage. The owners and breeders of show cats compete to see whose animal bears the closest resemblance to the ideal definition of the breed. See selective breeding. Because of common crossbreeding in populated areas, many cats are simply identified as belonging to the homogenous breed of domestic long hair and domestic short hair, depending on their type of fur. Many cats are simply identified as belonging to the homogenous breeds of domestic long hair and domestic short hair, depending on their type of fur. In the United Kingdom and Australia, non purebred cats are referred in slang as moggies derived from Maggie, short for Margaret, reputed to have been a common name for cows and calves in 18th century England and later applied to house cats during the Victorian era. In the United States, a non-purebred cat is sometimes referred to in slang as a barn or alley cat, even if it is not a stray. Cats come in a variety of colors and patterns. These are physical properties and should not be confused with a breed of cat. Some original cat breeds that have a distinct phenotype that is the main type occurring naturally as the dominant domestic cat type in their region of origin are sometimes considered a subspecies and also have received names as such in nomenclature, although this is not supported by feline biologists. Some of these cat breeds are Felis catus anura, the Manx, Felis catus siamensis, the Siamese, Felis catus cartusinensis, 
the chartreuse, Phyllis caddis angarensis, the Turkish angora. 5.3.1 Coat Patterns An image captioned Cat with a Van Pattern is provided here. Cat coat genetics can produce a variety of coat patterns. Some of the most common are Bicolor, Tuxedo, and Van. This pattern varies between the Tuxedo Cat, which is mostly black with a white chest and possibly markings on the face and paws, legs, all the way up to the Van Pattern, so named after the Lake Van area in Turkey, which gave rise to the Turkish Van breed, where the only colored parts of the cat are the tail, usually including the base of the tail proper, and the top of the head, often including the ears. There are several other terms for amounts of white between these two extremes, such as harlequin or jellical cat. Bicolor cats can have as their primary, non-white, color, black, red, any dilution thereof, and tortoiseshell. See below for definition. An image captioned Mackerel Tabby Kitten showing the characteristic M on its forehead is provided here. Tabby Cat, striped with a variety of patterns. The classic blotched, tabby, or marbled pattern is the most common and consists of butterflies and bullseyes. The mackerel, or striped tabby, is a series of vertical stripes down the cat's side, resembling the fish. This pattern, broken into spots, is referred to as a spotted tabby. Finally, the tabby markings may look like a series of ticks on the fur, thus the ticked tabby, which is almost exclusively associated with the Abyssinian breed of cats. The worldwide evolution of the cat means that certain types of tabby are associated with certain countries. For instance, blotched tabbies are quite rare outside Northwest Europe, where they are the most common type. Tortoise shell and calico. This cat is also known as a calamanco cat or clouded tiger cat, and by the nickname Torty. In the cat fancy, a tortoise shell cat is randomly patched over with red, or its dilute form, cream, and black, or its dilute, blue, mottled throughout the coat. Additionally, the cat may have white spots in its fur, which make it a tortoise shell and white cat or if there is a significant amount of white in the fur and the red and black colors form a patchwork rather than a mottled aspect, the cat will be called a calico. All calicos are tortoiseshell, as they carry both black and red, but not all tortoiseshells are calicos, which require a significant amount of white in the fur and patching rather than mottling of the colors. The calico is also sometimes called a tricolor cat. The Japanese refer to this pattern as mike meaning triple fur, while the Dutch call these cats labjiskat, meaning patches cat. A true tricolor must consist of three colors, a reddish color, dark or light, white, and one other color, typically a brown, black, or blue, as described by American breeder Barbara Finch, writing for the cat fanciers community. Both tortoiseshell and calico cats are typically female because the coat pattern is the result of differential X chromosome inactivation in females, which, as with all normal female mammals, have two X chromosomes. Those male tortoiseshells that are created are usually sterile. Conversely, cats where the overall color is ginger, orange, are commonly male, roughly in a three-to-one ratio. In a litter sired by a ginger tom, the females will be tortoiseshell or ginger. See tortoiseshell and tricolor cats for an extensive genetic explanation for tricolor cats and detailing the possible combinations of coloring. Color point. The color point pattern is most commonly associated with Siamese cats, but may also appear in any domestic cat. A color point cat has dark colors on the face, ears, feet, and tail, with a lighter version of the same color on the rest of the body, and possibly some white. The exact name of the color point pattern depends on the actual color, so there are seal points, dark brown, chocolate points, warm lighter brown, blue points, dark gray, lilac points, silvery gray pink, flame points, orange, and torty, tortoiseshell mottling points, among others. 
This pattern is the result of a temperature-sensitive mutation in one of the enzymes in the metabolic pathway from tryptophan to pigment, such as melanin. Thus, little or no pigment is produced except in the extremities or points where the skin is slightly cooler. For this reason, color point cats tend to darken with age as bodily temperature drops. Also, the fur over a significant injury may sometimes darken or lighten as a result of temperature change. The tryptophan pathway also produces neurotransmitters, thus mutations in the early parts of that pathway may affect not only pigment, but also neurological development. This results in a higher frequency of cross eyes among color point cats, as well as the high frequency of deafness in white cats and the high frequency of cross eyes in white tigers. This is not related to albinism. 5.3.2 Body Types Cats can also come in several body types, ranging between two extremes. Oriental Not a specific breed, but any cat with an elongated slender build, almond-shaped eyes, long nose, large ears. The Siamese and Oriental Shorthair breeds are examples of this. Cobby Any cat with a short, muscular, compact build, roundish eyes, short nose, and small ears. Persians and exotics are two prime examples of such a body type. 5.4. Feral Cats A link to main article, Feral Cat, is provided here. Feral cats may live alone, but most are found in large groups called feral colonies with communal nurseries, depending on resource availability. Some lost or abandoned pet cats succeed in joining these colonies, although animal welfare organizations note that few are able to survive long enough to become feral, most being killed by vehicles or succumbing to starvation, predators, exposure, or disease. Most abandoned cats probably have little alternative to joining a feral colony. The average lifespan of such feral cats is much shorter than a domestic house cat, which can live 16 years or more. Urban areas in the developed world are not friendly, nor adapted environments for cats. Most domestic cats are descended from cats in desert climates and were distributed throughout the world by humans. Nevertheless, some feral cat colonies are found in large cities such as around the Colosseum and Forum Romanum in Rome. Although cats are adaptable, feral felines are unable to thrive in extreme cold and heat, and with a very high protein requirement, few find adequate nutrition on their own in cities. They have little protection or understanding of the dangers from dogs, coyotes, and even automobiles. However, there are thousands of volunteers and organizations that trap these unadoptable feral felines, spay or neuter them, immunize the cats against rabies and feline leukemia, and treat them with long-lasting flea products. Before release back into their feral colonies, the attending veterinarian often nips the tip off one ear to mark the feral as spayed, neutered, and inoculated, since these cats will more than likely find themselves trapped again. Volunteers continue to feed and give care to these cats throughout their lives, and not only is their lifespan greatly increased, but behavior and nuisance problems due to competition for food are also greatly reduced. In time, if an entire colony is successfully spayed and neutered, no additional kittens are born and the feral colony disappears. Many hope to see an end to urban feral cat colonies through these efforts. 5.4.1 Environmental Interaction an image with the following extensive caption is provided here. The caption reads, Feral cats are thought to be a major predator of Hawaiian coastal and forest habitats and are one species among many responsible for the decline of endemic forest bird species as well as seabirds like the wedge-tailed shearwater. In one study of 56 cats' feces, the remains of 44 birds were found, 40 of which were endemic species. There are two divergent views about cats' relationship with the natural environment. The first says, 
The environmental impact of feral cat programs and of indoor-outdoor cats is a subject of debate. Part of this stems from humane concern for the cats themselves, and part arises from concerns about the cat predation on endangered species. Nearly all studies agree that abandoned animals lead hard lives. Owners who can no longer keep their cats should do best to give them to friends, rescue organizations, or shelters. The amount of ecological damage done by indoor-outdoor cats depends on local conditions. The most severe effect occurs to island ecologies. Serious concerns also exist, citation needed, in places such as Florida, where house cats are not native, where several small-sized endangered species live near human populations, and where the climate allows cats to breed throughout the year. Environmental concerns may be minimal in most of the UK where cats are an established species and few to none of the local prey species are endangered. Pet owners can contact veterinarians, ecological organizations, and universities for opinions about whether local conditions are suitable for outdoor cats. Additional concerns include potential dangers from larger predators and infectious diseases. Coyotes kill large numbers of house cats in the southwestern United States, even in urban zones. FELV, feline leukemia, FIV, feline immunodeficiency virus, or rabies may be present in the area. If faced with conflicting evidence, the safe choice is to keep a cat indoors. Experts recommend a gradual transition to indoor life for cats who are accustomed to going outside. Those opposing this view stress this allegation has never been proved. They say that damaging effects do not follow necessarily from the fact that cats are predators. They point out that cats have played a useful role in vermin control for centuries, and that for many animals, especially in urban areas, cats are the only animal available to fill the vital role of predator. Without cats, these species would overpopulate. Cats themselves present a risk of overpopulation as well. According to the Humane Society of the United States, three to four million cats and dogs are euthanized each year in the United States, and many more are confined to cages and shelters because there are significantly more animals being born than there are homes. Spaying or neutering pets helps keep the overpopulation down. Local humane societies, SPCAs and other animal protection organizations urge people to spay or neuter their pets and to adopt animals from shelters instead of purchasing them. 5.5. History and Mythology An image captioned, Egyptian Sculpture at the Louvre, is provided here. A link to main article, History of Cats, is provided here. Cats have been kept by humans since at least ancient Egypt, where the mythical cat Bast was goddess of the home, the domestic cat, protector of the fields and home from vermin infestations, and sometimes took on the warlike aspect of a lioness. The first domesticated cats may have saved early Egyptians from many rodent infestations, and likewise, Bast developed from the adoration for her feline companions. She was the daughter of the sun god Ra and played a significant role in ancient Egyptian religion. It has been speculated that cats resident in Kenya's islands in the Lamu archipelago may be the last living direct descendants of the cats of ancient Egypt. Several ancient religions believed that cats are exalted souls, companions or guides for humans, that they are all-knowing but are mute so they cannot influence decisions made by humans. In Japan, the Maneki Neko is a cat that is a symbol of good fortune. Mueza was the Prophet Mohammed's favorite cat. It is common lore that cats have nine lives. It is a tribute to their perceived durability, their occasional apparent lack of instinct for self-preservation, and their seeming ability to survive falls that would be fatal to other animals. Section 6 See also Cat body language Cat behavior Feline ethology Cat communication 
Cat Fanciers Association, Cats in Ancient Egypt, Felidae, Kitten, List of Historical Cats, List of Fictional Cats, Polydactyl Cat, Extra Toes, Cat Types, Cat Breeds, Cat Meat, Cats as Food. Wiki Links, Look Up Cat, Kitty, Meow, in Wiktionary, the Free Dictionary. Wikibooks has a book on the topic of animal care. Wikiquote has a collection of quotations related to cat. Wikimedia Commons has media related to Felis sylvestris catus. Wikispecies has information related to cat. Section 7. References. An extensive list of references is available. Section 8. External links. 8.1. Medical issues. Cornell Feline Health Center. American Association of Feline Practitioners. Feline Medical and Behavior Database. Large number of short articles. Elurophilia gone bad. DNA offers new insight concerning cat evolution. The New York Times, January 6, 2006. High-resolution images of the cat brain. Onions are toxic to cats. Information about the third eyelid of cats and the problem of kertau, or dry eye. Feline Behavior Guidelines, an AAFP publication written for the veterinarian perspective. Cat Illnesses, articles about cat disease. Deadly Disease FIP Threatens Cats, more info about FIP, hope for FIP. Monthly Turkish Free Magazine for Teaching Cat Care, K-E-D-I-M-V-E-B-E-N dot com. National Geographic, Cats. 8.2. Miscellaneous. Cat Genome Project at the U.S. The National Cancer Institute. New Potential Smallest Cat. bbc.co.uk. Description of the Cat. The Origins and Domestication of the Cat. Catchinary, Meaningful Portraits of Cats by Sharon Montrose, ISBN 0-670-03059-7. That ends the article. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.